Now, let's check what your WebInspect API service is running. If it's not running, you'll have to enable and do a restart. If already running, then you can test the connection and open the WebInspect REST API Swagger document. Let's play. From the services window, scroll down to locate the WebInspect API service. Right click on the WebInspect API service to check the properties. If the status shows that it is running, that means it's enabled. Select properties. Notice the start type is set at delayed start. Go ahead and click on log on. The log on is set up correctly. No need to make any changes. Select cancel. You can make configuration changes as needed to the WebInspect API and test those out. Best practice, when you first initiate the WebInspect API service, be sure to restart the WebInspect API service here first. From your desktop, click the Fortify icon bottom right of the taskbar and click Configure WebInspect API. Looks like you're good to go. Click the Test API button. Wait for it to load. The WebInspect REST API Swagger URL opens. The Swagger document is open. You can view the API and use them as needed. Please note, no API key needed to access the WebInspect APIs. Go ahead and click Scanner. You are now ready to utilize the WebInspect REST API. Good stuff.